Do you have a trusted UCT? Now, if you're wondering what a UCT is, UCT stands for Universal Collection Tool. It's the primary method in which you get stuff from here into your productivity and time management system. Now, for most people, that could be a phone, but it could also be something else. The key thing that your UCT is that it's something that you can use easily, quickly, and effectively, and that it's always with you. Now, I have just updated my COD course. COD stands for Collect, Organize, and Do. It's a very basic, fundamental, foundational time management and productivity system. The course is free, but what I wanted to do is share with you the little lesson that I did on collecting uh, tools and also tools in general so that you have an idea of what is important if you want to build your very own productivity system. Now, if you also want to take the course itself, as I say, it's completely free of charge. All you need to do is use the link in the show notes below and you can take the course over this weekend, maybe. It's worth doing because it's going to give you the framework on which to build your productivity and time management system. It's helped thousands of people and I really would like this opportunity to be able to give you the opportunity to learn the same skills that these people have learned. So I'm going to hand you over to myself now and I'll show you that you should look at the video from the course and if you wish to take the course, as I say, completely free of charge, link in the details below. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, now before we can build a system, we need some tools. Now the tools that we're going to need is a calendar, which is best put on, left on your computer. And I have thought about this for a long time. You could use a notebook and pen, but the convenience factor of having a computer means that you can use your computer's calendar, whether that's Google Calendar, Outlook, or Apple Calendar, and it's going to be available on all your devices. So having a calendar digitally just makes more sense because you may want to do a quick reference from your phone to see, okay, where do I need to be this afternoon? You could also, if you're working on your computer, you can quickly have a look at your calendar to see when your next meeting is. So calendars are generally best on your computer. But also what about collecting? Well, collecting is an interesting one because that depends on what you prefer. It also depends on your environment. If you're moving around a lot all day, you probably find that your phone is your best collecting tool. Now, this is something that I call the, U the Universal Collection Tool, UCT. Now, basically what the Universal Collection Tool is, is a way that you can get ideas, thoughts, tasks, and anything else into your system, including events on your calendar. Well, this is brilliant at that kind of thing because Let's be honest, you probably carry your phone with you everywhere you go, so therefore it's always going to be with you, even in the bathroom, I hear. So it's a perfect universal collection tool, UCT. However, I have also found that there are two other collecting thing tools that you could use, which can also support the phone if you wish. Now, I still think this is the best, but there are two other ways. You could also carry what's called a pocket notebook. Now I have a, um, this is called a traveler's, uh, traveler's notebook and it's the passport size. And it actually fits perfectly in the back pocket of your jeans. It can be carried in a, in a jacket. It can also be carried in a bag if you're carrying a bag all day. And basically, you can just collect stuff all the way. Now, I've collected a few stuff over the last few days in this, and it's really, really useful for that sort of thing, just for collecting quick ideas. However, when you're using a pocket notebook, one of the things I should point out is, ideally, for when it comes to organizing, you do really want this into your digital system. So this is really just another universal collection tool because it's going to help you to get stuff in. And do you know, to be perfectly honest, I actually love carrying this around with me because occasionally, now certainly when the weather's here and is nice, it's lovely to go and sit on a park bench or as I live near the beach, I can sit on, the, on a 
bench near the beach and just capture my thoughts and ideas into this. It's a phenomenal little system, a great little book to carry around with you. They're not too expensive, but you can also, of course, use field notes. Another variation on that is to use something like this, which is a, I believe this is an A7 uh, little ring bound noble. You can see down here. And again, I actually use this for my um, focus list of the day, but that's just for me. But you can just use a little piece of paper like this. And the great thing about these, if I just find a blank piece, uh, the great thing about these little things is you can just tear out the sheet. So again, this actually goes back a little bit to the original getting things done idea, which is like a note taker wallet. You can write down your thoughts, ideas, and then just tear it out and put it into an inbox. These are great. They're not expensive. So this is another way that you can collect stuff into your system. The key, though, is not to have too many collection devices. To be honest, most of the thing I collect is going straight into my phone because then I can process it from one place later in the day. But occasionally, if I've got time and I'm sitting in a coffee shop waiting for my dog's haircut, which I had to do recently, or waiting in the car for my wife on a rainy day, this is perfect because I can just start capturing ideas and thoughts and just develop them. I find on here, it's can be when particularly developing ideas, it can be a little bit distracting when you've got bing bing from emails and messages and so on. But your universal collection tool is a very important tool to have. And when it comes to like your digital tools, there really are only three things that you need. I would say a task manager to collect and organize your tasks, a calendar of course, and a notes app. Now a notes app is a a great little thing to have because it helps you to be able to store your notes together in one place. You can also manage your projects from there and you can co collect ideas or information on some of the topics that you love to, you know, to keep information on. In, in effect, you're kind of creating what's called a digital version of the commonplace book. And it's great because a digital notes app is going to allow you to organize and tag things so that they're all grouped and relevant together where necessary. So that's it. Those are the three tools that you really need. You need a universal collection tool. Now, ideally, that can be your phone. But as I say, it could be simply a pocket notebook like this, which is really good. You also need a calendar. And I would strongly advise that you use the digital system there and you need some kind of notes app. Now, again, when it comes to notes app, digital is generally better because you can store everything in one place. But if you prefer the analog world, it's perfectly fine to carry around with you like an A5 notebook and collect all your thoughts because you can scan notes very easily into a notes app and keep everything digitally once you've finished writing them down. So for some of you, and we know scientifically that writing stuff down by hand is better for your brain than trying to capture it digitally. There's been so many studies on that now, I won't want to bore you with the details. But the most interesting one, by the way, is the Tokyo University one from, I think, 2014. So there you go. Those are the three tools. You need a capture tool. That can be your phone, a notebook, whatever, a calendar, a to-do list, and you need a notes app. And that's it. So it doesn't really matter which of those tools you use. Ideally, you want to use something that you enjoy using, and that's all you need to do. Okay, let's get on into the next lesson.